good morning and good afternoon so let's start on this uh, very nice uh, sutta of the maha rahulo vada so what we did as a summary if i were to say that for these many days we looked at rupa vedana sanya sankhara vinyana all the five in terms of the time that is past future and the present and then we also looked at eight ways of putting the space that is i exist so it can be either ajatta or bahidda or we can have ularika or sukuma like that we can create meaning in the mind that means hina panita then santike dure so this eight ways of seeing that i am existing in three time zones that is past future and the present if somebody were to explain who am i it can be explained as rupa i was existing in the past i will be existing in the future and i am existing now and i am internal this my internal body the people seeing there is external or i need to say gross and subtle that is uh, i need to say this is my gross body and somewhere else is a subtle body okay, like gandhava or i need to say this is hina panit superior inferior or i need to say it is far away or it is near so when i look at the rupa here as we speak it creates a vedana of the same kind whatever is seen in the rupa is transferred itself as a vedana so i will either have a sukha vedana or a dukha vedana or asukha dukha vedana depending upon the six senses ayatana cha ayatana now that gets into a symbolization or identification which is the sanya perception now that because there is hasa contact there is a feeling and when there is a feeling there is a perception when there is a perception then we do something about it so we intend to do something about it. so i intend to call this as vilas i intend the name has been given by my parents but i intend now to call myself as vilas and i'm staying in so and so place and this is what i'm doing that is what i'm doing is all the sankharas but these sankharas are connected with the rupa if the rupa were not to be there then they cannot be any sankhara either so that understanding would not be there because i have already consider myself to be this rupa and finally the vinyana is about experiencer and an experienced both happening together just like we took a crystal ball example where a person runs and as as he runs the object starts coming on to the crystal ball or on the mirror and that vattu adaya vattu which is a seat of the mind has five indriyas through which it grasps that object mashes it up makes it up that's that making up is the sankhara and big because of that there is an experience now there is an experience of carrying this whatever i am carrying so since i am called as vilas but i believe i am vilas so there is an experience of vilas so now that is the experience who is the experiencer the vinyana itself is the experiencer in the vinyana there is an experience of vilas and in the same vinyana there is experience of that experienced but somebody were to ask me do you experience vilas i should say yes do you experience are you here yes do you experience sachin yes when there is an experience like this if there are the kleshas or the impurities or the defilements if they are there since the rupa is already grasped the vedana is already grasped the sanya is already grasped sankhara and vinyana is grasped this grasping of five aggregates is what as upadana khand and that is the dukkha 
Why? Because I want it to exist in one particular way. I want the sound to come in one particular way, the sight should be in one particular way, the body should be in one particular way, the smell should be in one particular way, and then the um, thoughts I want it in one particular way, and the taste I want it in one particular way. Yes, Ari. A uh, quick question. So this nine stages of vinyana. So from the eighth to the nine to the vinyana khanda is where the grasping happens. No, it's just a khanda. That holding on is the upadana khanda. Okay, after that. It's... Yes. Now there is one sutta in Sanyukta Nikaya. Yesterday we were going through it. Myself, Sachin, and Vishal. So it is twenty-two point four eight, where it's called khanda sutta. In that Buddha explains what is pancha khanda and what is panchupadana khanda. In that he explains the same thing, ajjata, bahidava, all right, but there is sa asava. The asava, asava is fermentation or defilement. There are four asavas. First asava is dhitti asava. Now I have a dhitti that this is me, this is mine, this is myself. Or rather, this is this is mine, eso mama, eso aham asmi, the ahankara, the ego saying that this belongs to me, there is a belongingness, this body belongs to me, this chair belongs to me, this room belongs to me, and this house belongs to me, and this road belongs to me, like that the country belongs to me, and all that, the belonging, ahankara. And the last one is the Atta feeling, myself. I see myself in everything. Wherever I am touching, wherever I am seeing, wherever I am hearing, that I am is going to follow through. Okay? So in that Sutta, Buddha explains that Panchakhanda has no problem. But Panchupadana Khanda has a problem because it comes with Asava. So now first you have a dhitti asava, then second one is a kama asava. That is through the senses I want to enjoy which is the ayatana. So that asava. Then there is bhava asava. I want to become something. I am not happy with what it is right now. I want something else to appear. So the bhava asava. Then finally avijja asava. So the four asavas. This holding on to this asava, believing that this is real, as real as it would get, because of the samuchi satcha, conventional reality or conceptual reality, it creates the experience effect. So you experience that you in inside. On top of that, you experience whatever is stated. So you are experiencing the mirror. Also, the mirror itself takes itself as myself. Right? So objects are appearing on that mirror. That's no problem. That is khanda. But when it grasps itself, when it becomes live, thinking that I am this, mirror itself experiences. Let's take this example. Now we are talking about AI. So let's say you are talking to the chat GPT and suddenly it becomes live and says that, Hey, Ari, I have been waiting for you. You'll be shocked. I, I, I never meant you to be talking to me. It became sentient. Right? And that one, that one in the sense like this screen, which I am talking, the camera is focusing on me. No issues. But what if the monitor itself starts talking to me or that person sitting on the other side starts talking to me? That grasping is upadana. The panchupadana, khanda dukkha, because now what doesn't exist as an existence? This is what it is. So in the 22.48, uh, the Khanda Sutta, if we reflect upon that as Vipassana for whole day, can really come out of Panchupadana Khanda Dukkha. 
Okay, so this coming back to the Anapana Sati of um, one second. So Anapana Sati of Rahulovada Sutta should be understood that first I need to do the the Savitaka Savichara, which is did. We also have to put the precepts in place. Having done that, we are looking at the breath or the dhatu or whatever you want to take it. So that has to be taken. So first we have to create a samatha. Then we need to come into the vipassana. Before that, you need to take an object. Now you can take breath as an object or dhatu as an object or something as an object, whatever you are comfortable with. Take that object. Now, having having taken that object relaxed for a good amount of time, then once you have relaxed, start on the vipassana of what is rupa, vedana, sanya, sankara, vinyana in terms of ajjata bahidda like that. Okay. Once you have done it, let's say you have got it. Now you have created a foundation for getting into Anapana Sati. Any questions before we begin? No questions from anyone? Sure. Okay, good. Now we are coming into the detail portion of that. What do you mean by detail portion? Now, in this case, Rahula comes to Buddha and asks that tell me how should one do Anapana Sati? Okay. Anapana Sati has been treated as a breath meditation, that's okay because Ana is equal to is meaning in and apana is out. It should be something to do with breathing. So don't get too much worked out thinking that nothing to do with breath or this or that because the more we shake up, the more mind becomes restless. The more mind becomes restless, a big caper doesn't ha happen. It becomes big caper, distractedness. So that means the samatha is lost. So again, you have to go back to set up on the samatha. So don't work out too much on the meanings and uh, whether this is okay or that is okay. It's not about that. It is about experiencing. That is in the chitta, experiencing anapana. Then shaking the chitta like this, which will never get you anything because you yourself is the chitta. There is no way you can do anything about it. So what would happen is from the vinyana khanda to vinyana itself doesn't happen and from vinyana to going back into the mana indriya doesn't happen and from mana indriya to mana ayatana doesn't happen then it will not come into pandara then it will not come into hadaya if you don't get into hadaya vattu you will not be able to see what is happening <laughs> then manasam mano chitta is far away. So, one thing we need to do is don't give too much things on translation, transliteration, or uh, English or whatever that language is. Just go by what you feel about it. Then, what is this meaning? I want to get to the root of it. That if you want to do that, it becomes a big caper distractedness. Now, instead of doing this, we will end up doing that, which doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, now thinking that you will not be doing it or feeling that you will not be doing it, let's proceed further. What is that I need to do? Yep. Now, I need to become like Rahula. Now, what did Rahula do? He looked at watching Rupa only. He could not get the Vedana, Sanya, Sankara, and Vinyana. As 
Pardasutta. So, and Venerable Sariputta informed him that why don't you do Anapana Sati? How we can think how it is related to that. Actually, the five aggregate experience profoundly happens in Anapana Sati. So, Sariputta was right in guiding uh, Rahula that you don't do what you are doing. You look at Anapana Sati. Then he approaches the Buddha asking, how should I do this mindfulness of Anapana Sati? Sati is mindfulness. So how do I do Anapana Sati? Can you teach me? Now he starts with the Rupa because all the remaining things are associated with it. It is the Vedana, Sanya, Sankhara, Vinyana is associated with Rupa. If we understand the Rupa correctly, then you have understood how the Vedana comes to be, how the Sanya comes to be, how the Sankhara comes to be and the Nama Rupa is the creator of the Vinyana coming up and going. So, Nama Rupa Samudayo, Vinyana Samudayo, Nama Rupa Nirodo, Vinyana Nirodo. So, leaving this aside, let's only worry about these three which is the mind, is the Vedana, Sanya, Sankhara along with Rupa. Now, what should I do? Now, in this body, in this which body? In this body, as I am speaking, what I should do? Start with the head hair. Don't go into the loma body hair. Just the head hair. Okay, what should I do? See, whether this kind of hair was there with you at the time of your birth. That's all. You would find no. That means Atita has got nothing to do with what you are seeing right now. Anagata has got nothing to do with what you are seeing right now. Pachupanna, what you are seeing can never be grasped like this. This is mine. This hair is mine. Why? Hair falls. So if I consider this is mine, then the hair fall, I have fallen. Right? Am I not fallen then? The body hair. Kesa Loma. It will fall down. Nakha. His finger, nails, tanta, teeth. When I was born, this teeth was not like this, for sure. Like that, each part of the body, there are 20 parts you can reflect upon. So we need to reflect upon all the 20 of them. How much time does it take? It takes a good amount of time. It takes a very good amount of time to get into understanding Kesa, Loba, Naka, Danta, Tacho, Mamsam, Naharu, Atti, Atti Minja, like that. But you don't have to do all of them. Take five or six of them, which you can grossly experience. Don't take the subtle ones like the uh, liver and intestine and heart and lungs and all that. Because you might not have seen it and you have to go to autopsy or some video to see it. But these other things can be seen. Skin can be seen. The hairs on the body can be seen. The fingers can be seen. Teeth can be seen. That's the sufficient. And when we go to the washroom or toilet, you can see. Karisa. you take five or six of them and start watching with breath without breath that is irrespective with dhatu without dhatu also irrespective you are going to come to the dhatu patavi dhatu now if i do it correctly I can see there is no Atita Anagata Pachupanna which is same. 
the objective is to come into anicca nicca sanya to be replaced with anicca sanya so to 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 do that anicca sanya what i need to do is that i need to watch like this 5 minutes 10 minutes whatever minutes but the focus should be on the head hair body hair skin okay teeth finger nails that's it and the bones you can feel the bones everywhere there is bone try but pressing like this bones so what it will do it will make the chitta to become neutral at that moment the identification is gone so when i cannot understand rupa vedana sanya sankhara vinyana to get into that understanding to also get into the understanding of anicca dukkha anatta what i need to do is having done that how much ever i am able to do it i have to come to this portion where now i can see that this and all of this is not the same from the time of the birth and it has been evolving and each day ending is giving rise to each month ending and each month ending is giving rise to each year ending and as each year is ending in whatever calendar which has been put as a concept but in reality what is happening that particular body is gone otherwise there was no need for me to feel hungry and thirsty that means it is gone getting replaced so i can see upachaya santati jarata or jirnata then anicchata this is what is there in each one of these so upachaya is integration it keeps on integrating the food goes inside and it integrates back so it whatever is gone it is upachaya santati it makes that looking that it is stable it is input equals output like this room even though there is a deterioration in the room it's not really visible it doesn't show to be this many years of this apartment or this room or this home or this place where i am sitting now jarata or jirnata that is the nature so it keeps on decaying and anicchata which we already covered what is anicca so that means it's a choice if i create a choice that creates dukkha so if there is no choice then there is no dukkha so basically what i am what i am trying to see is these four things these four lakkhana in the rupa that is pachaya santati jirnata or jarata and finally anicchata so with this six or seven or whatever number of athavi dhatu if i can observe keenly then what happens the avikhepa is gone now i coming into vipassana i don't have to necessarily watch the breath i can just watch like this so do i require a mirror to see it better or this camera what i'm seeing i can be looking at each one of these they are not mine yes are you um question so when let's say contemplating on um, the the hair for example should i combine this contemplation along with the the senses like the touch of it the side of it or i should not required just see it just see it as a yes, just because 
because i'll tell you this is required when we are not able to do the vedana sanya sankhara and vinya is if you if you look at the sutta he talks about what rahula should be doing right and rahula asks this question only rupa and he says vedana sanya sankhara and vinya and then rahula thinks let me sit and do it and then sariputta says that do anapana sati now rahula is confused what should i do he is saying see this five and he says do this so he comes to the buddha and ask what should i be doing okay so now this five or six things in the body now i need to bring the ajatta bahid external so when i meet any person i have to bring in sati to see these five what the thing is if there is a smile looks good if it is like this what happens it looks so ugly so the ugliness can be seen because it is so bad to look and the skin of the other person the bone nails hair and the body at the of the other person bahidda now when i start seeing like that i can see it's a mirror reflection he has body hair i have body hair he has teeth i have teeth he has skin i have skin he has bones i have bones he or she doesn't matter like that each then i can say that the thing called ajatta and bahidda absolute ajatta belonging to me sorry I, yeah. and somebody belonging to that person bahidda absolutely it's absolute his property and it's absolute my property not this so when i am practicing like this ajatta bahida ajatta bahida ajatta bahida continuously it breaks that twine that twisting breaks just breaks out then you see there is nothing called absolute eternal there is no absolute external it's only patavidati thing else what how many days it will take for me to realize this i don't know depends on the asava right that's the asava so the panchupadana khanda is so stuck in me that i need to use another strategy the strategy is no internal absolutely no external absolutely now you see in that he doesn't talk about the remaining six of them why polarika sukuma heena panita dure santike is subtle internal external is cross subtic which is very easy for you to work out don't work out on subtle because the mind also should be able to penetrate right so i will take only this great now having taken this what next i can do I can do it with apo now don't take apo immediately before you become proficient on atavi meaning even in the dream if somebody were to ask is this your wife or husband or daughter or son or friend or whatever 
you have so much taken it that it is just the patavidhatu nothing else so if i go to a dentist and show my teeth he also has a teeth i also have a teeth it's only teeth it is stone okay silla in pali it is called silla silla means stone Kamsu is clay. The whole body is made out of clay. Some of the part of the body is made out of stone, the soft stone. The bone is porous. The stone is also porous, but the solidity is there because of what science says: atoms coming so close that it gives you the perception of. strength hardness each one of these patavi dhatu has hardness if you bring all of them together at once it becomes a hard object but when it breaks up it becomes individual parts in the same way the bone if i were to touch like this i can feel hardness and if i touch any girl or any person i can feel the same hardness but i don't feel that hardness i feel the girl is the problem because there is kama sava so it is better not to touch the girl the touching is happening where the touching is happening in the chitta in that vattu hadaya vattu there the touching is happening so the objective is to make that see what real it is which is yatha bhuta gnana dasana seeing things as they are so when a girl comes to my home i should have developed sati develop sati i need the five precepts without the five precept this is not possible so when no matter how much i say there is no girl there is no girl there is no girl but really when the girl comes i don't see it as patavi dhatu i see the girl so first i need to practice on ajatta continuously for days together then i need to practice bahidda and it breaks so once patavi is broken we can take up so we can take sweat fluid coming from the nose saliva urine blood anything which you can see it blood is red in color the remaining things are having white or whatever that is. okay so we can take that let's not take something which is totally inside the body which you can't see like synovial fluid and but tears can be seen okay so we can take tears things coming from the nose alive was the best thing urine but i should remember remember sati when i go to the loo or to the washroom to urinate i should be watching the urine i should not miss it and see the apo dhatu when i am drinking water i should see the apo dhatu going inside and when it is coming out the apo dhatu is coming out to that extent i need to create mindfulness this is mindfulness of the apo when the sweat comes when the heat is generated and sweat is coming instead of reacting to the sweat i need to see the sweat don't have to observe the breath not required i can observe sweat coming here and dripping This whole T-shirt or shirt or whatever getting wet, 
I didn't make it wet. When it heats up, the solid because there the fat is semi-solid that becomes liquid. So everywhere the wetness can be felt. This is the apodhatu. So now there is no internal apodhatu. It's just apodhatu because water was not mine. I would have bought the water from the store or it is coming from my tap or whatever it is, but it's not mine. There's no absolute ownership of it. I can't claim it is my water. Then it becomes my urine. Then I don't have to urinate because it's mine, but it is going. Right? So I need to watch like that. That happens. And the second rupa, which is apo. Is remote, yes. Uh, question. Previously, you said even in the dream, you should only see patavidatu. But it, if if you can work, if, if you can feel like that, aren't you going to be anagami already by the end of this practice? That's the whole idea to become anagami. So even if you break patavi all the time, that makes you any one of them. You break it, you'll automatically get the other four. If you break patavi, you get apo, tejo, vayo, akasa. So what is Rahula, what is Buddha teaching Rahula is from a Puttajana perspective to the Sotapanna, to the Sotapanna, to Sakadagami, to Sakadagami, to Anagami, to Anagami, to Arhat. So this whole Sutta, if you were to practice perfectly day and night, if we were to practice, Arhat Phala Samapati can also happen. Not only anagami, even arhat phala samapati can happen. It depends on the sati. See the five indriyas. The sati indriya is a driver. If the driver is not mindful, then the front wheel is the virya, saddha, samadhi, panya. Right? So now I might have good saddha. That means I have faith in Buddha, but the Sati is not there. So the effort is not there to see teeth, nails, like that. And seeing villas. See, for the class, I am saying you should do this, you should do that. After this class is over and I end in my lecture. Because I have become a lecturer, giving a nice lecture to the students. And then after I finish this, I go my usual way of working. So when I see, stand in front of a camera or I stand in front of a mirror, what do I see? Villas. Or am I able to see fingers, nails? Skin, as skin, not villa skin, as skin, not villa teeth, as teeth. Then when somebody called his wife comes, like that, that will bring in Nibiddha, this illusion met. That's a prerequisite. To attain Nibbana. Nibiddhaya, Viragaya, Nirodhaya, Upasamaya, Abhinyaya, Sambhodaya, Nibbana. Okay. So, this whole thing has to be there. So, the thing what I need to do when I see like this, for the whole day, except for the time I am sleeping, This dirt thing, keep on watching. Yes. So by what way you are saying this is Anapana? But what way? We have to first finish this and come to the Anapana Sati. Okay, so far. Okay. If, you, if you go through that, have you gone through MN62? Yeah. <laughs> Meaning I, I come to know only when you say. 
Yes, that is the difference between you and me. <laughs> you would have read it and it just goes away. Okay, done. Okay, Patavi done, Apo done, done, Tejo, Vayo, Akasa. Then he says, be like Patavi. They urinate, they deface, they throw things, they throw garbage, you make your mind like Patavi. Yeah. So when I read Heaven 62, Buddha said something, he got confused. Sariputta came and said to Anapa, he got confused. He went to Buddha and he said something, there is nothing for Anapa in between. Yes. Then and he comes to the breath, then he comes to the sa sato va sa sati sato va pasta sati. We are going to come to that. Okay, okay. This whole thing has to be practiced before you get into that. That's what I wanted yeah. to say. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. At the last. So, yes, are you? Uh, you, you would have already been a, a Anagami before you even get to the Anapanasati. No, it's not like that. See, the thing is like this. Anapanasati is explained in four places. Which all four places? One is in the Mahasati Pathana Sutta. There is another Sutta, Sati Pathana Sutta. Again, there is Anapanasati. So, Anapanasati is explained in Mahasati Pathana Sutta. Anapanasati is also explained as an Anapanasati Sutta itself. Yes. But there is a twist there. He talks about how you should understand. An Arya Savaka and a non Arya Savaka. Okay. Do this. That is meant for Sota Panna and above, not below. That Anapana Sati is, that Sutta is for people who are already Sota Panna. I don't know whether I am Sota Panna or not. I start reading this grandeur Sutta, it's not going to help. Third place where he mentions about Anapana Sati is in the Kirimananda Sutta. Okay. He gives ten sanya. The last sanya is Anapana, Anapana Sati. Third one. And the fourth beautiful instance, how you should practice Anapana Sati. The only sutta which gives you step by step instruction. Is this Maharahulo Vada Sutta? Yeah. So when you said, actually, I wanted to ask, but I didn't ask. When you said you, you uh, I forgot, you said you finish your Tamata first. Tamata, yes. Yeah, and then start this, uh, this body thing, Ajatam Bahida. But my Samata is breathe meditation. Yes. Right? Yes. So that, that and then you said, don't go by wording and all. You do that, breathe meditation, and you call it Goenka Sana Pansati. Once you are settled, you do this, Vipassana, Ajatam Bahidya, body elements, this and that, Pathvi Dhatu, and then come to Anapansati. So I am curious, what is that? I yes. Them. You need to wait till I finish that. So I don't want to skip, or I don't want to jump to that. Yes, Sir. Uh, my earlier comment means if we practice seeing this patavi so diligently and penetratively until we see it all the time, and um, we would have been so advanced. And and how come we only introduce anapanasati? Because you said you would have been become an anagami when we even see it in the dreams. No, it's not like that. So, yeah, in the dreams, yes, but we are far away from the dream. So let's keep the yeah. dream aside. At least the waking state. See now, how do you come to know? I'll tell you. I'll give you the answer also. Why keep it? Now I finish this class. Go out and talk to my wife, son, friend, this, that, office, everything is there. Right? And I forget all about the Patavidatu. And when I get into that, Meditation separately, let us say, ha, ah, it is now uh, 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. I want to sit into meditation. Then I do it. That is the state of a Sotapanna where he can get into that. 
the remaining time he is involved in the world or whatever time he wants to get into this he can get into it because he has already penetrated right on the patavi apo tejo vayo all that he has penetrated because that is requirement of rupa what rupa rupa khanda because that is the creation that from that only the vedana khanda starts and from there the sanya sankhara all the three require phasa phasa samudaya vedana samudaya sanya samudaya sankhara samudaya so, yeah, so so touching that state is not a big deal but maintaining that state is it the is very practice. difficult that is the that is the difference between a arhat and a yeah. satapanna yeah he maintains it he is always in that arhat yeah he is mindful because he maintains that satatity yes. yes so now you shouldn't take a stick and beat yourself up that i am not able to sit like that or stand like that the objective is to observe 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 all the time how much ever time you can observe 5 minutes 10 minutes half an hour 1 hour 5 hours 10 hours all the day fine it's not about a formal meditation of sitting like this going to retreat and sitting straight and watching your breath yes it helps but what about vipassana oh my vipassana is nothing but watching the sensation arriving in the body yes perfect but that is what you what anybody is doing is that out of the six ayatanas you are taken the kaya ayatana on that the puttab where a sensation is felt so you are doing it perfect nothing wrong but you cannot live with it when you are out of it you are out of it that's it now no patavi no apo no tejo no vayo nothing again you have to go into the retreat and this becomes an addiction ajjatam and bahita never breaks there never breaks there because now i know i have to go to the retreat sit in the retreat 10 day retreat 20 day retreat 30 day retreat 45 days retreat 60 days retreat maybe 100 day retreat fine after i come back in person why there it works why it doesn't work here there are two reasons number one reason it is conditioned what condition you cannot speak to anyone till the end of your course beautiful thing so no breaking of any seal no killing anyone so panati pata is not there no stealing adinna dana is not there no kameshu michachara then no um, musavada then what sports did into sila ha then uh, what else then uh, no sura mere majja pamadda thana another one important no eating meals when you no family they give you you eat if they don't give you do can't eat you can't say sir 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 i am feeling hungry please sir so then another one another beautiful one they'll give you place where you can sleep you can't complain oh this is having so much mosquitoes and, and now they are giving with that mosquito uh, this one but there's nothing you can complain you can't complain to toilet you can't it means you are basically thrown out of your comfort zone and no family even if they die nothing you can do because for number of days no tell no phone so you can't browse the net now you can't give a call excuse me how are you oh it's been long time sorry even you can't talk to your next person who is meditating he is sleeping like this but you can't say anything to him that is a assistant teacher's job not your job and how many hours you have to meditate 12 hours it's ten, going to be ten tiring hours, ten. what's that 10 10 ah 10 hours so 10 hours starting at wake up at 4 o'clock from 4:30 to 6 o'clock like that you have a schedule 
till 9 30 in the night and they switch off the light that's it over nothing you can do but that is not when you come back home so as long as you're in the retreat there is experience because the vikhepa is gone the distractedness is not there the samatha is established and since samatha is established you can do the vipassana of the body contemplation good yeah in fact uh, morning we discussed now it is itself building avijja because you are not knowing the aduk aduk the peacefulness of that retreat is itself is avijja because you are not knowing that as impermanent correct so there is no anicca experience there so basically what are we trying to do is first we try to understand the five aggregates not the grasping aggregates five aggregates rupa vedana sanya sankhara vinyana not everybody can understand five aggregates perfect nothing wrong because sota panna breaks upadana to five aggregates he doesn't break five aggregates he breaks the upadana to five aggregates as relation to the ditti not the other ones the bhava asava is there kama asava is there avijja asava is there only the ditti asava he has removed asava khaya gnana happens at arhat don't get fooled anagami would have done with kama asava But bhava asava is there, avijja asava is there. Both are there in anagami, and hence he is also a sekh learner. So if I consider that I have reached anagami, it means that I am still a learner. Simple. Why these two asavas are there? If today if I die, where do I want to be born? But obviously, say Brahma Renan. even in the dream i would say brahma ran because i can get into jhanas fine very good but you are reborn now there is avijja that has not gone only these two is gone kama asava ditti asava so a sota panna would have removed the ditti asava holding on to the five aggregates is removed so this sutta particular mn62 teaches you from a puttu jana to arhat a one single sutta sufficient to end the journey so coming back to the subject so first is pathavi how much can you remember this is dirty looking like a gorilla watching teeth my teeth looks like a gorilla if i were to pull these two up it looks even more horrible like a dracula but can i see like that all the time that's a question yes sir you wanted to say something i i'm, I'm i've been thinking i should uh, rename my son as patabi and i uh, just calling him to be <laughs> no no you don't have to do anything you call him luke as you would been calling him that's the conventional reality you don't have to change the conventional reality you have to look at the actual reality actually speaking it's only patavi datu here actually speaking this mustache what i have grown is patavi datu it look like a grass grown on growing on a land which is true this thing also is growing like that if i were to touch this and go to my lawn and touch it do i feel anything different no i take a lawn mower and move it and i go to a saloon and ask him to cut it or say it's a lawn this it is and in this lawn if i don't take at bath by applying soap or shampoo whatever it smells rotten 
so that we will take when you come to the the vayu dhatu but right now we will just concentrate here and baldness is such an important aspect because i have removed so much of hair i mean this grass is gone nothing grows here what a what a great thing to be grass is not there but the grass is grown here and the grass has grown everywhere if i watch like that it creates nibbida the first thing i need to get in buddha dhamma is this illusion bent nibbida that will bring in its friend viraga this passion then nirodha cessation then upasamaya peace abhinaya seeing this hair as grass or as patavidato is abhinya seeing differently sambodaya four noble truths nibbana once you penetrate the four noble truth nibbana is just that so this is how we can work out patavi do extensively patavi for quite number of hours days whatever you want then come to apo take saliva things coming from the nose something coming from the ear you can see eyes ears called as tears urine urine anyway is a beautiful thing as an experience every time you go to the washroom you just know that it is apo 99% of the time we will not watch the urine you just go thinking something else and there are people who keep singing also the washroom or they'll be whistling instead you can watch what is coming down right so you drink up goes down drink up goes down so it's a cycle so you are refueling it comes down so there's no you in that you refuel water comes down you can do that once you are penetrated patavi and apo in mahasatti patthana sutta he only does these two patikula manasikara pabba only two he doesn't cover the other sections but here and in dhatu vibhanga he covers the remaining section also the next is let's say we are taking tejo correct tejo so how should i practice tejo this is subtle one not a cross like the patavi and the apo the remaining three are and the akasa dhatu is the most subtlest this requires lot of energy meaning virya to experience panya so sati the driver should have driven watching the patavi and apo then he has to put good amount of energy in that is virya in understanding the other three and out of that other three the last one is the most difficult if at all you get it so he says always four dhatus he doesn't talk about space but here he talks about space and in uh, dhatu vibhanga sutta also he talks about space and the sixth dhatu is even more subtle consciousness vinyana itself as a dhatu okay. now we come back here so when we talk about fire or tejo or heat so he says many things here so let me read out my wife is having fever or had fever what is fever we can give it names covid flu influenza whatever 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 what it is eating up
so if it hits up anything that hits up fever temperature increases so when we testing through this what it shows temperature what is temperature heat so where is the wife this question should come if it doesn't come and i see wife then i have to go back to patani it's not broken so what am i measuring i'm not measuring my wife i'm measuring the heat temperature right so when i am giving this to test what should be there in the mind tejo dhatu not wife really like that no go back paid or if i take the uh, oximeter and put here what is that i am measuring vayu dhatu oxygen is vayu blood oxygen am i seeing myself there yes it's my oxygen hey go back this is a practice but i forget i am so tapan oh yes are you uh previously you i remember you said once that a uh, casa is easy to watch to see the holes but today you said it's the most difficult to break and uh, wondering i was wanting you to ask that i was thinking that you will never ask and i don't have to reply okay good if you get it the holes you get it okay breaking the internal and external is difficult okay first thing most easiest to get is the hole should get it actually you don't have to even look at patavi you can look at the holes everywhere there's a hole there's a sound what is that it's beautiful no see what is called as farting is nothing but what sound coming out of a hole nobody farts it's a sound and if there is a vayu which is coming down that is a downward vayu is as a smell instead of feeling shit oh my goodness he farted you should be so happy that somebody has given you two experience one experience the hole another experience is the vayu actually that is how we should see it but that's not how any way we see it then what is internal vayu and external vayu that is difficult So in that way, I said it is very difficult. The akasa dhatu. So he doesn't cover that. He he only talks about chattaro mahabhuta and chatuncha padaya rupa. He doesn't cover the fifth one. There's a reason because penetrating akasa, he does it as a arupa jhana. Akasa nancha yatana. Anyway, coming back to this good question. Yes, finding out is easy. Yes. Yes, I. Uh, sorry, I did not completely understand. I thought if you see the holes and the, you see the space, then you could see that Jatta and Bahita are connected, and should there's be. no difference. Should be. Are you able to see it right now? I'm asking a reverse question to you. I guess I'm asking in theory. Uh, I mean, I can intellectually see it, but it doesn't mean. <laughs> Okay. that's what i'm telling you you have you can get to see this space agreed is it is the more easier than patavi dhatu but breaking ajjatta bahidda is easier in patavi dhatu and tejo and uh, apo dhatu than any other dhatu 
what I meant. Mm. I thought it's easier in space because it's so continuous. And uh... I'm asking you the same question. Have you experienced it in that way? Yeah, but you are not attached to Ajatam space element. You can't be attached at all. That is the beauty of space element. There's nothing called Ajatta Bahidda. That's why it is easy. You are saying, but your attachment is too much with Patvi Dhatu, Dhatu, and that's why you are you. If you meditate with Patvi, breaking will be tough. Yes. So, are you? What I'm saying is, when I see somebody, and I'm seeing you. Am I seeing the space element? I'm seeing Ariu. Am I seeing space element? It's so obvious, space element. I could have said Eureka, found, found space, found space. I don't do that. If I were to do that, the space element, Nibiddha happens instantly, just an instant. But Ajatta will happen, Bahidda is difficult, if at all have happened. First start with Patavi because that is easy to break. Then start with Apu, then Tejo, then Vayu, then Akas. Vayu is more difficult than Tejo. Akasa is the most difficult of doing it because you instantly get into Anupajana. Where it is covered? Chulya Shunyata Sutta. You will get that experience instantaneously. If you want to break Achyatta Bahidda of space element or space dhatu, quality of space, you will get into Akasha Ananchayata instantly. That's what it is. Yes, Matt. Can you start with that one? Or do you have to do like the Patavi? <laughs> Whatever is there in the Sutta. <laughs> Whatever is there in the Sutta will not even disturb an inch. Okay. Okay. So, the practice for us is to break the Patavi Dhatu of internal and external and have the experience as Patavi. Not my Patavi, not her Patavi, not his Patavi, as Patavi. Not till this class is over. This is for me. When I open the door here, when I touch the knob here of the door, Am I feeling Patavi or am I feeling the knob? When I walk from here, when I am walking on the floor, am I feeling Patavi? When I see another human being there, can be called as a wife, can be called as a son, can be called as a friend and daughter and this and that or whatever names that can be given, am I seeing it as Patavi? Teeth, nails, Skin, bones, head hairs, body hair. Anyway, I can go to the washroom and ask them, okay, you go to the toilet and finish, I'll see. Accepting that, I can see. When I go to the toilet, I can see mine and everybody is the same. So I don't have to go necessarily. Ask them, hey, why don't you do that and I will see. That's not required. Okay, other than that, I can see. When it comes to the apodatu, saliva can be seen. You don't have to go to the restroom of others saying that let me watch you urinate. No, that's not required. But sweating can be seen. And in fact, when they sweat, the whole body is. Yes, they are crying, they are not crying. Yes. 
can you stay to that tears who oh, she's crying tears yes okay. so like that take some of them and watch ajatta bahida ajatta bahida ajatta bahida like a tap water water washroom water river water pond water then wherever the water is just the water drinking water water blood water liquid right so we just watch this for today then we come to the fire tejo sakal fever start from there yes sir. uh a meta question if it uh, takes long to answer then you can skip but uh you put a lot of emphasis on this sutta right uh, i'm wondering how in essence is it different from practicing let's say per adatu vibhanga sutta yes it is the same but here he covers anapanasati otherwise you have to combine the anapanasati sutta with dhatu vibhanga sutta to get the experience right now we have to thank rahula for asking that question and sariputta to confuse him so that he gave both okay yeah. nice and it is both are covered like what uh, sachin is asking okay anapanasati i am waiting for anapanasati in fact anusha is also waiting for anapanasati hold on get to that and you will see the difference for yourself yesterday i sachin and there's a person called vishal they, we met in the evening india time evening and uh, we were talking about vipassana and how it is done in the goenka tradition and uh, about the sensation and all that so i just said that after you finish samatha whatever way you call it do the vipassana of the dhatus don't have to look at the sensations that you leave it just a rupa vedana sanya sankhara vinya all the time you don't have you can do it while walking by lying down while sitting while standing all the four postures iriya pabba otherwise i need to sit like uh, how they sit so when i gone to savasti into that vri so looking at how they how you have to sit for that long hour instead you can do it wherever you are I have to select a place, go there, travel, and all of that is not required. That doesn't mean that the places or the way it is done is wrong. It is very good, but I'm just looking at, reflecting upon. It. What if we were to get it, get this patavi dhatu, apo dhatu, and all that, all the time? You are in samatha and vipassana all the time. Yes, sir. Now that the, the problem is, we don't do it until we're we're there. That's yes. The <laughs> yes ah that's the problem the problem is we'll not do it till we are in the retreat so we require to go like a drug addict all the time to the retreat anyway with that let's end for today and tomorrow we'll start on uh, what's the time now 9:48 okay so let's start on uh tomorrow we'll take two subtle uh, dhatus one is the the tejo and bite if possible we'll do akasa okay then what we do you have to develop sati to let go of the five dhatus and start to meditate that you are patavida right then apoda then tejo dhatu then vayu dhatu then akasha dhatu okay then metta then karuna then mudita then upekha 
then anicca okay once you are done till there we are qualified to start on sa satova asasati satova pasasati so at the end of it what you should get is you whatever you is just patavidhati and whatever you say you is apo dhatu and tejo dhatu and akasa dhatu like that okay is five plus petta karuna mudita upekka anicca so five here four brahma viharas and finally finally anicca with that we are ready for anapana sati so it's a long journey but hence i thought it will take 49 days for us to get there so for that he'll tell you whether you are sota panna or sakta gami anagami arhat or whatever will come to know for yourself and we will come to know our failures where we have failed because if the sati is not there for the whole day so today you have to practice pathavi in everything you see ajjatta bahidda so now this is pathavi this outside pathavi this pathavi are the same there is no i belongingness as pathavi and we covered up so you have to do both of them tomorrow we'll do the two day after tomorrow or tomorrow we'll try to start on akasha then day after tomorrow we'll finish akasha then the four meditative five meditative postures pathavi apo tejo vayo akasha yes so before when buddha said uh, uh, rupa uh, rupa and 11 things right um, he could not do that and then once again he went goes to buddha he start from dhatu right so part of practice rupa and four aggregate is not part of the practice at all for rahul right four dhatu is part of the practice but he could not pick it up so when the, in the sayukta nikaya so many puttas where he says what is rupa what is rupa samudayo what is rupa athangamo like that he no. says what is rupa he says patavi apo tejo vayo varna rasa gandha oja no. but that is theory right that we are not able to really experience so that experiential is what he is covering up here yeah but the earlier when we talk about this 11 and we also could do that that practice that that time rahula was not able to do that he was not able to do and that's why he said simplified so uh, rupa he said four element yes so then sariputta said him to do the mindfulness meditation which is anapanasati and then he got further more confused because rahula always thought that it's only on the rupa he has to do then buddha added the other four dimension what about vedana what about sanya what about sankhara what about vinyana so he was oh, he left his uh, meals he said forget the meal let me sit and uh, our guru is saying uh, meditate on this so let me sit and then venerable sariputta saying and say that rahula tu anapana sati now that guy is even more worked up yeah and in fact in all in there is no sutta there are very few sutta in which like i mean 62 and satipatthan sutta there is instruction to meditation yes and on aggregate there is no sutta to say now meditate on aggregate aggregates are so many way defined what is aggregate what is upadana khanda this and that but in they are not part of any instruction in which they are saying now meditate on aggregate right yes so 
the presumption is or the experience would be that if you meditate on these the panchupadana khanda experience will happen yeah so, so that is, is a result of this that's study. a result of it so first you will know what is upadana then you drop the upadana the moment you drop the upadana you become a sotapanna right now the next time you drop the possession of it you become sakadagami the next time you remove the kama sava you become an anagami then the next right. time you remove the avijja sava you are an arhat yeah so that will start happening instead of part of practice it's so not this, a meditation object yes this sutta especially teaches both samatha vipassana in this sutta which one is samatha samatha is the starting one where he says what is patavi what is uh, uh, ajjatta bahid those okay. two pairs time and space yes yes it is really samatha actually i feel that it is samatha now you are coming to vipassana section so before getting into vipassana section he wants to make sure Buddha, the uh, rahul understands fine all right then we see tomorrow good day and good night and good afternoon